that I was seeing is we ran BNG testing and we looked at was there any spontaneous nystagmus and there wasn't. Um, were there issues with gaze holding or gaze stability? And for the most part, it was pretty steady compared to what we were seeing last time. We did do some yes, yes, and no, no kind of passive gaze stability exercises, and that made some improvements. Um, her pursuits were smooth and accurate and precise in the horizontal and the vertical. Her saccades were a little bit slow with the velocity, so we did some work with that with the DynaVision D2. And then we checked her optokinetic reflexes, and there was a change in her optokinetics in the horizontal plane compared to the vertical, where about halfway through, about six seconds, the gain kind of started to fatigue with her optokinetic reflex. And those can make it hard to you know, do continuous rotation or if there's motion going on in the background, sometimes that can lead to dizziness or headaches and things like that. So we're gonna do some exercises to help with her optokinetic reflexes and get those to be back where they need to be. Um, we did DynaVision D2, an interactive metronome. We did some uh, vestibular rehabilitation with yes, yeses and no, nos, passive. Um, we also did some different stimulation on the left side of her body to give some feedback from her proprioceptive system. And that's improved over time and gotten her tremor to decrease on the left side that we were noting after um, her past concussions. So those are the kind of things that we're doing. So it's a combination of sensory feedback from her body, from her eyes, from her visual and vestibular system. We're trying to get everything to combine together for her brain to just have a better idea or awareness of where she is in space. And we're just trying to make improvements with her OPK. So we're gonna use this chart right here. And we're gonna start off about right here. So what I want you to do is just kind of gaze in the center of the target here. And we're just gonna go back and forth and you're just gonna kind of look at the target there and we're gonna work on horizontal. We do about 10. Good, and then we're gonna flip it and then we're just gonna work on our vertical optic kinetics. Here. We're just going to work on some convergent divergence, so we're just going to come in and out, do about 10 of them. Good, and relax. And I think that we should probably work on some rotation, so let's have you stand up for me. What I want you to do is keep your eyes on your left thumb. We're going to be right about there, okay. and I want you to give me left spin with keeping your eyes on that target. Okay. All right? A little bit slower. Can you give me one more? All right, and relax. Let's have you take a seat. So we, we work on techniques to or basically prime what's called a neural integrator that integrates a lot of the different eye movements, the visual reflexes, and we can use the vestibular reflex to make an optic kinetic reflex better. So let's go back and we'll recheck these. Just watch the reds for me. Nice. How do those feel? Good. Feels pretty good, right? Okay, let's check these. Nice. So those look real nice. Okay, let's come in here. We'll just check these VOR reflexes. Good, so her VORs are all intact. And so are her translational VORs. And her eyes are rolling appropriately. And how does your neck feel right now? Good. Pretty good, good. right? Okay, bring your hands up here. Good, bring them out. Close your eyes. Close the tip of your nose with your pinky. Good, do this one. Good, do this one. And do this one. Okay, good, come back down here. Let's go like this. Okay, do the right one. Good, come up here. Go like this. Okay, that looks good. Let's see your finger tap, so go here. Good, do the right one. All right, that looks good. Stand up for me. Okay, put your feet together. Go look straight ahead of the wall. Close your eyes. Alright, that looks good.
this nice and steady. I'm just gonna give you some taps. Okay, just resist against me when I go. Alright, so that looks good. Bring those hands up in front of you. Close your eyes and march in place for me. Good, that was good. Okay, relax, turn this way so there's not a huge rotation on Fakuta step test, which is good. Look straight ahead. Okay, bring these up, tuck your wrist down. Okay, close your eyes. So I'm just gonna move your head. I'm just gonna check this asymmetric tonic neck primitive reflex. And that looks really good. Bring these down here, tilt your head back, and I'm just gonna clap. You're gonna fall back and I'm gonna catch you, all right? Um, okay. All right? All right, so that's good. She doesn't have a startle Moreau reflex. Let's go here. Look straight ahead. Let's do a pullback test. I just wanna see how your body reacts. Good, and she's got that nice step back there with that reflex. We see a lot of kids where we'll pull them back and either they won't be able to step back or they'll just fall straight backwards. And you know that those reflexes aren't doing what they need to do to be able to catch themselves and absorb force if they get a perturbation coming to knock them over, basically. Let's watch you walk. So, just walk towards me. All right, head on down there. So I'm just looking at arm swing. I'm looking at stride length and looking to see if there's any like lateral pulsions and that all looks pretty good. Let's push your brain a little bit. Let's do every other month. So January, March. January, March, May, July, September, November. Okay, Let's start with January, head back that way. January, March, May, July, September, October. Oh wait, no, November. All right. All right, that's pretty good. Just subtle decrease in that left arm swing and just some changes in her gait pattern. But doing some dual tasking exercises would be good. You know, something like, you know, coming in here and doing like a figure eight and going like A, C, E, G, or doing some complex movements with the left hand. Come in here, do some finger tapping, and you know, doing some numbers and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, what we're trying to do with her since we saw that after that last concussion, this tremor on this side is be like, all right, well, what kind of tremor is it? It was more of a, a resting tremor, but there also was a tremor with movement. So it wasn't, uh, you know, just a basal ganglionic tremor. It was, there's integration between the cerebellum on the left and probably the right basal ganglia and the right mesencephalon. So we were doing exercises for her left cerebellum and her right brain. Um, feedback into this left side and then also some quick eye movements over to the left to activate her right cortex so you know that's what we do in our office is integration of sensory motor ocular motor uh, vestibular ocular reflexes cervical spine work and stability and then cognitive based work to improve dual tasking and reaction times okay thank you